Gwenlian of Wales, a warrior princess and defender of freedom. Gwenlian Firth Griffith, born around 1100, was no ordinary princess, hailing from the prestigious Aberfour family in Gwened. She married Griffith of Rees, Prince of Dihubar, becoming the Princess Consort of the Southern Welsh Kingdom. However, her life was marked by more than just royal lineage. She emerged as a formidable figure in Welsh history. Gwen Lillian, the youngest daughter of Gruffud ap Zainan, Prince of Gwened, grew up in the heart of Aberfoel or on Jan's Mont Anglesey. Blessed with striking beauty, she was the jewel of the family with a storied lineage. Gwendolinian's destiny took a turn when she married Griffith af Reyes, Prince of De Herbar, becoming the Princess Consort of the Southern Welsh Kingdom after his visit to Gwened in 1113, solidifying the union between the two Welsh realms. Together, Gwen Lillian and Gwitha had a substantial family, raising their children amidst the challenges posed by Norman incursions in South Wales. As Dihu Burr faced the relentless threat of Norman invasion, Gwen Lillian embraced her role not only as a princess but as a warrior defending her homeland. She and Gwitha led daring retaliatory strikes, employing lightning raids against Norman-held positions in the mountainous strongholds of Wales. In 1136, an opportunity arose for the Welsh to reclaim lands lost to the martial lords. The political upheaval in England during the anarchy presented a chance for the Welsh to resist Norman influence. Inspired by the success of Hewel Hap Mardud in South Wales, Griffith af Rhaes sought an alliance with Gwendolyn's father, Gruffud af Sainan, to join the revolt. While Griffith sought support in Gwened, Gwenilian faced the harsh reality of defending De Herbath against Norman raids led by Maurice de Londres. Her valiant efforts reached a tragic end near Kilquelly Castle when she was captured, beheaded, and her son Morgan was slain in battle. Gwendolyn's legacy continues to live on, not just in the pages of history. Her patriotic revolt, though ultimately defeated, inspired others to rise against Norman oppression. The Welsh of Gwent, led by Earlsworth Ob Ab Owlgwain, venged Gwendolyn's ambushing and slaying the Norman Lord Richard Fitzgilbert de Clare in Caridion. For centuries, Welsh warriors invoked Dal Archos Gwendolyn, revenge for Gwendolyn in battle. The field where she fought near Kidwelly Castle is aptly named Mays Gwenillion, Field of Gwenillion, and a spring in the area bears her name, marking the spot where this fearless princess met her end. Gwenillion's tale echoes through time, drawing comparisons to the Celtic leader Bodicea. She remains the only known woman of the medieval period to have led a Welsh army into battle, a timeless emblem of defiance and an enduring tale within the pages of Welsh history.